Hi, welcome to Crystal's Kitchen. I'm Crystal and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'll be showing you how I make zucchini pasta. My quick and easy healthy recipe. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell. You don't want to miss out on upcoming videos. So all the ingredients are listed below in the description. Let's get started. All right, so we need zucchinis. <laughs> so you can check out my upcoming episode on zucchinis and all the health benefits and nutritional facts that's coming your way. But first, let's get our zucchinis. We're gonna need two to three zucchinis to spiralize. So you're gonna need a spiralizer. And if you don't have one of those, you can use a peeler or another way of shredding your um, zucchini into pasta. So what we're going to do is I've cut off one of the ends and you're simply just going to place it in here on your spiralizer and you're going to just push in, oh it's a little bit finicky there, there we go, and you got to push through and it's spiralizing, do you guys see that? So we are making our noodles, <laughs> there we go. And if you don't want them too long sometimes, you can kind of break them off. And see, you've got zucchini and pasta. And we keep spiralizing, and so this will be your pasta. It's super healthy for you. It's amazing. And so what I'm gonna share with you is, uh, we don't wanna throw away this core piece because we're gonna put it into our pasta sauce so we don't have any go to waste. Oh, I lost some. Zucchini. <laughs> All right, so everyone's going to make your zucchini pasta. All right, so we have our zucchini pasta. Looks amazing. Super easy to do. Spiralizing, and you can spiralize other things with that spiralizer, by the way. It's so awesome. And so I'm just going to share with you that zucchini is full with water. It's packed with water inside. So if you just want to eat it crunchy as your pasta, you can just eat it raw with your sauce on it. Or you can heat it up. And so you don't want to overcook it as your pasta. So you can do it on your stove top and just sauteing it up a little bit. Or in the microwave, you can heat it up with increments of like 30 seconds at a time. And uh, because you don't want to overdo it and it's, that it's perfect. So I just want to share that tip with you. Moving on. But first, if you love zucchini, zucchini pasta, why don't you hit that like button below. Let me know that you like zucchini pasta like I do. All right, so let's move on to our pasta sauce. So we got our red marinara sauce we're going to make. You're gonna need a blender and your ingredients, and we're just gonna place it in, and it's our sauce, so let's get started. All right, so we're gonna take our leftover zucchini pieces and place that in. Then we're gonna put in our four chopped up tomatoes. Then our red pepper, half a cup, goes in. Then we've got our basil, we've got quarter cup of basil, in you go, oregano, quarter cup of oregano, followed by our onion, we've got a quarter cup of onion, let's get that in there, then we have our garlic, let's get our garlic in, looks great, you can put more garlic if you want, it's just two cloves minced, but you can add more if you want more garlic, and a little bit of sea salt, so about a teaspoon of sea salt, and put the lid on, and blend. All right, our pasta sauce is done, our marinara, and we are ready to place it onto our zucchini pasta. Look at that, the color is so beautiful. Look at that, it looks amazing. And we're all done. We've made our zucchini pasta. It smells incredible. So why don't you leave a comment down below, let me know about other sauces that you would put on your zucchini pasta. I'd love to know. So let's try it out. All right, get our sauce on there. Mmm, yeah, it's so good. The flavors are incredible. You can taste the, the basil and the oregano. This is so good, and it was so quick and easy to make, and it's really good for you. I highly encourage you to make this. And so, don't forget to subscribe, click that notification bell. You don't want to miss out on upcoming videos because they're on their way. Lots more to come. 
I'd love to see you in my kitchen again. All right, bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.